I have a magnet under my white plate here. Let's put some ferrofluid on the plate. Ferrofluid is made of nanoparticles of iron, and when you apply a magnetic field to them, they follow the magnetic field lines in this spiky pattern here. The stronger the magnetic field is, the closer together the spikes form. So first let me show you what happens when I move a regular magnet near the ferrofluid. You can see it just sucks it up to the magnet. Okay, now let's bring the superconductor up to it. Okay, watch it push the spikes out of the way as I bring it close. That's because it's opposing the magnetic field at first. Now if I were able to get it closer, then it would lock in place and it wouldn't push the spikes out of the way. But if I push it any closer, it's going to go into the ferrofluid. Another cool thing I observed is that when you bring it near the ferrofluid, the spikes actually start to flow towards it. Now this seemed odd to me because there wasn't a reason magnetically why it should do that. So I tested it with just plastic that was cold, not a superconductor, and it did the same thing. Bring it over to the point of the bolt and just gently drop it on there. Okay. In oh, fact, wow. you don't even have to like touch it. It'll get pulled right over because of the magnetic wow, field. Wow, look at it building up. Whoa. That is so cool. It's, it's turning, I don't even know how to describe it. It almost looks like if I touched it, it'd be spiky. Watch this. Wow. The magnet is actually drawing those particles. Keep loading it up. We're going to see this how much fluid so cool. we can get on here. If you notice, you look really close, you can see they're like little spikes. Yeah, that's what it almost looks like. If I were to touch it, it would be spiky. It's, Clearly, it's, I know that's not the case. It's actually soft. It's still a liquid, but because of the magnetic field, it's actually taking on a different shape. Those little particles are actually little magnets, but wow. they've been coated with a surfactant, so they won't stick to themselves. Mm -hmm. But in the presence of a very strong magnet, they'll begin to take on these interesting shapes. Oh, look, it's, it's, it's starting to get spiky even on the yeah. uh, threading of the bolt. Yeah. That is super neat. So it's fighting against gravity. The gravity's pulling it down. The mm -hmm. magnet's pulling it down. Surface tension is trying to create these interesting shapes. Sure. Um, but, the, you know, so it looks cool, right? Yeah, it's looks really very cool. Very cool. What would you use it for is the... Is the real question. Hmm. And so if you have a hard drive with a spinning axis that you want to seal, okay. you can use ferrofluid. You put two magnets around the axle and the ferrofluid will form a seal around hmm. the axle. Or if you want to separate things that are non-magnetic. This is a copper penny. Sure, but we okay. know that it's only partially, not fully copper, right? And you're right. Okay. It's zinc inside and a little copper on the outside, but in either case, it's not magnetic. Okay, okay right. It, it yeah, we know that. It's not going to stick to the fridge or anything like How that. How would I separate that out? We can use ferrofluid, so watch really? this. Load up my little cup with some ferrofluid. Just use the whole container. Just Oh, like you that? Can, you just, just dump it, it in? Yeah, just dump it in. It's okay. And if we... Magnet? Yeah, that's perfect. If we take the magnet and drop it inside, no great surprise, it's simply going to sink to the bottom. Sure. Here's where things might get a little bit messy. Watch out. Woo! Okay. If I take this super strong magnet uh -huh. and pull it away okay. and put it underneath, Whoa. the penny will float to the top. Yeah, immediately. Immediately. And if I take it away from the magnet, the penny sinks. Wow. If I bring it down to the ferrofluid, And so that's just the, the force? The ferrofluid is actually, and I can have you feel it. I'm going to put this magnet back under the plate, uh -huh. and I want you to reach in with your gloves and touch that clump of ferrofluid. What does it feel like? Describe oh, it. Oh, gel. It feels like a, a hard, gooey gel, and I can't grab it off here even the, though I want to. The density of the yeah. material has changed in the presence of a magnetic field, and this is one way that recyclers can actually separate non-magnetic or non-ferrous metals wow. from magnetic metals. That is so neat, and yeah, you can't, I'm trying it's to even a, separate it's a crazy, it, it won't work. It, it feels like jello, yep. it's really weird, but if we do take the magnet away, I'll try not to splash, it goes oh, right back to wow. the liquid. Wow, that is really neat. So then this almost, in theory, can be reused as well. The actual... You can, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Um, there's even some talk of using this sort of nanotechnology to target drugs. So if we attach a specific drug to the nanoparticles here, mm -hmm. um, we could put it in an entire body and it would all be dilute. But if we target an organ mm -hmm. with a strong magnetic sure. field, we can actually cause all of the drugs to go to that wow. one location. So in theory, if you needed maybe a heart medicine that you didn't want going elsewhere, in theory, yes. there could be a magnet used so that we could... Could target that stuff using the tiny nanoparticles, wow. and then take the field away. It disperses throughout the body, and you're you're fine. So it's something people are working on. Can't commit to anything but a quarter or some vacation and invite them. Who's born in California?
I'm afraid you won't survive. Some cells inside me will fight and defend their integrity till the very end. Listen more, but I'm not gonna fall, gonna fall.